In this project, we're going to show you how to build the life clock from Logan's Run. The electronics are housed in a 3D printed case, making this a small package that can be used in all sorts of projects. Get the full list of parts to build this project from the guide linked below. Start by 3D printing the parts using translucent filament. This will diffuse the LEDs, making a nice and soft glow. Here's how we'll wire the circuit. We'll connect an Adafruit Gemma and NeoPixel Jewel together. Then we'll connect a small LiPo battery to a slide switch. This will allow us to easily power the circuit on and off. We'll need three wires to connect the NeoPixel Jewel to the Adafruit Gemma. Using wire strippers, we'll strip the tips of each wire and then tin them with a bit of solder. Then we can insert the wires into the appropriate GPIO pins and solder them in place. The NeoPixel Jewel folds over the Adafruit Gemma, making a low-profile circuit sandwich. Next, we'll build the slide switch JST adapter. Cut the JST extension cable to size and separate the two wires. Then we can cut the voltage wire in half. Next, strip and tin the tips of each wire. We'll need to connect the ground and voltage wires from the JST extension cable to the pins on the female JST connector. Then trim the terminals from the slide switch so they're short. You can add pieces of heat shrink tubing to insulate the exposed connections. Then we can connect the two voltage wires to the terminals on the slide switch. Install the slide switch into the 3D printed case and secure to the holder by press fitting it into place. Next, insert the battery and connect the JST connectors together. We'll need to make sure that all the wires are fully contained inside the case. Then connect the slide switch to the Adafruit Gemma. Install the rest of the circuit into the case by placing it on top of the battery. Secure the cover by twisting it onto the case until it's fully fastened. You can use medical grade tape to attach the 3D printed case to the palm of your hand, or just stick it to any surface. I think this project is great for cosplay, and I think this could make some pretty cool energy beams. This could also be used as a lighting element for photography. The NeoPixel Jewel can output some pretty bright light, so this can give your project that extra bit of illumination that you might be looking for. Hey, if you like this project, be sure to check out our playlist. Thank you so much for watching, and don't forget to subscribe to the Adafruit channel for new DIY projects every week.